next challenge gonna fix up this bathroom and it's um pretty nasty don't you think So, um, yeah, I, I got this RV. It's a 31 year old, 32 year old now, I guess. And it has not been registered in 16 years. And see these pedals here? They are stuck and it's not moving. And uh, I'm afraid if I step on them too hard, it's gonna break and I don't know what's gonna happen. So, um, now, this nasty is here. I gotta get this here off. These screws off over here. And um, I'm, I'm feeling I don't need to see if I can find anywhere anything to loosen, but I don't feel any screws. So that's my task. I'm starting it today. Alright, one screw came out. This one other one is giving me a hard time. Uh looks like it's so rusty that it won't even catch. Barely enough for my hand to get in there. One hand. Well, this one is already broken off. Gotta tear it apart. And here it goes. It is terrible. Nasty. How does that even get in here? Maybe a rat? I don't even know. Oh my god. I could not figure out for the beginning how to get this toilet out. And uh I finally found this screw here. Oh no, I can't even get it on there. All right, here's one screw. It's coming up. There's the, the nut. And in there is the screw. And then there's a one more on the other side. So the other one, the other screw is gonna require a small and bright light because I gotta see the nut down in this hole right here, which is nuts, literally, pun intended. So I have this little flashlight. Let me see. Maybe if I put it on that and see what I can do with it. So I'm gonna put it underneath. Anyway, so now I'm gonna see if I can sneak that little thing here in there and meet up with that. Uh, wish me luck with that, okay? I'm on it, but I, yeah. Actually, I didn't need that much leverage. It came loose pretty easy to my surprise. Are we there yet? In theory, the toilet should be loose, except they're still attached to water. I haven't figured out how to disconnect that yet. Again, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just feeling it on my fingers. And I can feel water is coming out. It shouldn't be too much though because the pressure is off. I hope. Okay, here comes the toilet out. Mm. Look at that nastiness. You know what? It's been so long. Um, it's been probably 16 years since anybody actually used this that it's actually not smelling anymore. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? 
but you see the liquid uh, that's why it's called black water so my challenge now the next challenge that I'm facing I probably need to uh, I probably need to replace this ring because my screws are now here and here so I gotta modify this a little bit and yeah a little bit of rust right <laughs> can't even tell what kind of screws they are that's how rusty they are Let's see if I can make this work got one of these so I'm supposed to turn it the uh, opposite way counterclockwise okay it's tight I gotta find another way of turning that Oh no, it broke. It broke. Well, first task anyway is to get these off. Even if I can't get the, use the same screw holes again, um, I need to get the, the ring off. Um, and there is an easier way to get them off. I can take the disc grinder and just, just grind off the heads. So maybe I should just do that and then uh, ignore the old holes but get buy a new one of these and um, make it fit <laughs> got a little smoky here for a minute I had to turn the air conditioning off because it was tripping the breaker while I was running the, the grinder at the same time. Um, but I'll plug it back in in a minute when I'm finished with this. That's the cutting blade. I'm gonna take the regular grinding blade and just touch it up a little bit. So, um, because I'm gonna put down boards here and I want it to be as flat as possible, I can't have any buckling or try not to have any buckling. <sighs> Turn the fan on. <laughs> board is in it said not to glue it I'm not sure about that but I'm gonna follow the instructions right as of right now I, I uh, cut this down because it was actually touching this so I cut off like a, a quarter of an inch and then I glued on this insert right here which is what uh, sticks down my two and a half inch uh, to go inside and then spinning this around because I know end result we're gonna put the screws in here and in here 
and they're gonna be a parallel right here. So, pre-drill some holes. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes.